Well, you can look at this two different ways. Either the Sioux are confident of winning this football game or they're just trying to protect their athletic budget. But they yep. have greased the goalposts so students will find it hard to climb up on there and tear it down. There's a lot of time before anyone can think about tearing down goalposts and a lot of work to be done by the Sioux. And right now the Bison have the ball third and eight at their 30. They like to go to the tight end on this play. And Feeney springs loose. Kevin Feeney at the 49-yard line of North Dakota. First down Bison. Well, Mark Mauer just love the, loves this kid, and it's for this simple reason. Kevin Feeney can make plays when there's nothing there. This is where being a former option quarterback comes in awfully handy. He finds a crease, he finds the first down, and keeps the chains moving. It takes a blow on the play, too. Let's go down to sideline reporter Chad Cool. Chad? Dana, this game has really changed from a weather aspect. The Bison maybe didn't realize it at that opening clip, but the wind in the fourth quarter is going to be key. It is really, really blowing down here on the field right now. Do you need a jacket, Chad? Yeah, well, you got a spare? <laughs> no. Yeah, darn it. Jake Morris moving the ball to the UND 46. Third and five for the Bison. 13.03 left. Feeney with a quick toss to Stralo, drilled by Brett Grimes. First down, Bison at the 37. Oh, that's concentration. Brent Grimes just nailed Stralo on this play. Good defensive play. Nine times out of ten, I bet that ball comes loose. But Stralo able to hang on and able to pick up the first down. Kevin Feeney had success on this field a few years back in the playoffs. And he's 12-44 away from NDSU's first regular season win in this series since 1992. Matt Roller grinds it out past the 35 up to the 33. Flies in our press box today. Feeney avoids one tackle, heads the other way. Kevin Feeney with a lot of room up to the 15 yard line. What a heads up play by the junior from Bismarck. And he took a lick there. Actually, Feeney kind of delivered the lick, put his head down and went looking for Brant Grimes, knowing he could not outrun him. And Feeney, <laughs> they're even laughing about it. <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? Again, the frustration of that Sioux defense here. They have it bottled up. There is nothing on that option play to the far side, so Feeney turns around, and here he just lowers his shoulder, puts his head down, and Grimes and Feeney just knock heads on the play. But Feeney gets up, and he's okay. He, he is a quarterback with a linebacker mentality. Well, we saw Ackman down at Morningside make a similar play in the game yeah. against the Sioux. He wasn't afraid to dish it out. Sue had trouble with Ackman, and they're having trouble with Feeney. First and 10 from the 15. Morris up to the 10-yard line. And that clock continues to run. 10.41 left in the fourth quarter. 21 to 10. The once-beaten Bison leading the unbeaten Sue. Second and five from the 10. Morris, who else? Five down more. play here for that Sioux defense. Morris trying to squeeze across, and I don't know. I don't think so. Fourth and one from the five. And the Bison will go for it. Grant Gilbertson now at fullback. Feeney. Feeney has done this before, and what he does is gets that football out in front of his body, doesn't hang onto it with his chest or his stomach and his arm, puts it way out in front because that's what the officials will mark. You're watching football way out there. And then when the Sioux players come, then he tucks it away so he doesn't fumble. I think Kevin Feeney has even surprised the Bison coaches that came on board in January as to just how productive and how accurate he is as a thrower. Hitting 60% of his conference passes, 58 overall, and he's had some throwaways and some drops where he could be at 70 to 75%. First and goal from the four. Morris, touchdown! 
Jake Morris with his third touchdown of the day. Make it 27 to 10, Bison. Moore again following Hambrick. And not much this time. And they say the, there is a fumble, and the Bison have the ball. Went into a pile, ran into a bunch, and there's Clint Jelston. He just strips the ball away. Strips it away from Philip Moore going down. And the Bison give to Morris. Manasa grabs him by the ankles and the takes Bison it down. The Bison basically have all the contenders out of the way. Morris will be close to a first down and may have it. Bison milking that clock down to 5.14 on the game clock. It's Morris with a little room across the 20 up to the 19. Well, Jake Morris has really done a 180. I mean, a lot of people questioned Jake Morris last year because he was coming off that knee injury. Would he be the same back? This is the same back that when he was a freshman, Tony Satter saw him play, and Satter said, before it's all said and done, Jake Morris will be the best running back to come out of North Dakota State University. High praise from somebody who many people think is and was the best running back to come out of NDSU. Look at this. Morris is the best running back on the field today. First down, Bison inside the 10. Illegal. Illegal pass, illegal forward handing. I'm sure they're saying he yeah. was over the line of scrimmage. So third and 10. Feeney knocks off a couple of Sioux defenders there. Dawson try here for Johnson. And it's good. Ken Johnson, third field goal of the year. And the route gets bigger. It's 31 to 10 Bison with 3.06 to go on the North Dakota ABC Network. Fourth down and three. The Sioux have to go for it. Trailing by 21. Juhas and Sidlachik to the right. And that pass is low. Intended for Sidlachik and the ball goes over. 2-10 to play, and the Bison will win back the nickel. And you see the big crowd gathered behind that Bison bench, ready to celebrate. The first Bison regular season win here since 92. Ryan Dietrich, the freshman from Bismarck Center. 3rd and 7 now is Ryan Johnson. It's to run the offense here, and the give is to the fullback, Grant Gilbertson, another Bismarck product from Century. And Philip Moore. And the rest of the Sioux taste defeat for the first time this season. They'll wind it down, and the Bison. Some of them going immediately to scurry after that nickel trophy. North Dakota State knocking off the unbeaten Sioux, 31 to 10 in Grand Forks. The nickel returns to Fargo, and they've got it down at about the 15-yard line. have waited a long time to get that one back. In fact, many players don't remember the nickel being that big a deal during that 12-game winning streak by North Dakota State because it, the rivalry kind of settled down because the Sioux program was down and it was building its way back up. Well, the Sioux got the nickel back and paraded it around the Fargo Dome, and Bison players wanted to make sure that they, too, made the nickel known and where it was heading. And today it's coming back down I-29 to Fargo, North Dakota. Now I wondered if this would happen. Some of the